of his teammates. Had more rushing yards than passing yards last week against the Volunteers. And here he goes on the first play, and he'll slide down. Sized offensively, Eddie Grant said they want to get 87 going. And off here, Snell coming near side, first down. They'll spot it at the 34 yard. 800 yards this year. Of course, last year set a freshman rushing record for Kentucky running backs. And there you go, C.J. Conrad. First, to line him up at the end of the line of scrimmage, but he also patrols the box from tackle to tackle. Johnson keeps it, and he is hit, falls on the help. Bowden in motion, and here is Lynn, the true freshman. We'll get it just inside the 20. It's stands time. Out here on a second and manageable in the red zone fringe. Bowden in that wildcat formation. He threw, completed a pass last week. This time he'll keep it, and he is wrapped up around the 20. Yard. Caught up with Benny Snell yesterday. Confident young man. Confident in this offense, but they cannot stop. The he doesn't try to move the pocket here. Maybe boot Stephen Johnson out to get away from the pass rush. Third down. Johnson passes caught. And some feet got tangled up. It's when you <laughs> when you clothesline a tight end on his release. Watch Gates. Oh, just they wrapped just, him up. Yeah. I, I, I don't oh, know how man. a flag doesn't come out right there. And number three, Demarcus Gates, a guy that we said needs oh. to have a big game for Ole Miss. I, I, Second down and 10. They'll go to Bowden. He's inside the 10 yard line, picks up. And like what they saw in Johnson, offered him, showed up in January a few weeks later. There goes King. Has taken over as the starter, and obviously Tamu, only his second opportunity at quarterback for Ole Miss. Game up two. Gates is going to have to be a big piece of the defense if they're going to have success. Even Johnson will fall forward to the 42 and a half. Johnson flushed out of that pocket again. He'll try to run for it, and he is met and stays alive, falls forward, flag. A couple of tight ends. For the Cats. Boy, a simple inside handoff. Going to Benny Snell outside, three receivers to the wide side of the field. Benny Snell, your tailback out of that pistol, and they'll hand it off to him. Benny almost broke a tackle and had a lot. Benny Snell averaging 90 yards a game on the ground. But Snell will watch his quarterback Johnson throw it to the tight end, CJ. Sometimes, even if you don't have it clean, you can pick up the yards needed to convert. He'll fake it to Snell. Roll Johnson near side. Pass is caught. That'll be on the heels of that versus Tennessee last week. Second down. Johnson. Quick slant. Another first down for the Cats. That one goes in a lot of ways. They got a block. Deuce Johnson comes in motion behind the formation. They'll set up a middle screen. That'll go to Conrad. He'll get it back to the for halftime. About 30 seconds went off the clock as Johnson comes near side, and that ball is caught down around the one yard line. What a grab from Isaiah. So Snell in the Wildcat. Working the right side. His second touchdown today. A tight end middle screen. A lot in that playbook coming out in the first half. Steven Johnson goes under center, hands it to Benny Snell. Benny to the 25. Let's go downstairs in the first half. Conrad, he is flipped up in the air. It's just easy to get with early because it's off a play action. It looks like one of those divide zones where Conrad comes all the way across the gun. Three receivers near side. Then he snell your tail back. He'll take that handoff. Boy, big hole off the left side over the 45 to the 46. Third. Wildcat with King taking the snap. And he'll get it to the running back and Benny Snell, who can get loose into the secondary. 
Over the middle, Conrad wide open. Nobody's there. Touchdown, Kentucky, 46 yards. Conrad, he's been quiet for four games. Now here he is, and here's Demarcus Gates. And you'll see the eyes of the leading tackler of Ole Miss looking in the backfield. And C.J. Conrad is all by himself, makes the catch, and then makes the run into the end zone, and the Wildcats score early. In the 42 and a half yard line. Here comes some heat from Ole Miss. A little run blitz, and it works well. Nice call. There for a second, it looked like they were considering maybe going for it. Really, Demarcus Gates was the one that made that play. He was blitzing. He got great push versus Bunchy stalling, but what you don't want to see is a team lay down. It's hard to imagine that that margin would have occurred today. Kentucky five out of eight today. And that one was a poor throw. He was. Johnson coming near side, passes battered away. Play clock down to four. High throw right through the hands of Isaiah Epps. He punts. And you can see Ofer's last four pass attempts. There's Benny Snell. He'll pick up a couple of yards. This be problematic, especially if they're spinning the safety down late. There's Snell. Well, hurts in the zone read game when your quarterback wants to pull it. Even at the 26, probably a good idea. Benny Snell Jr., big gainer. That's an opportunity maybe just to gain some positive yards and move the sticks. Yes, Quick hitter to Bowden. First yardage needed to convert the sticks. Here's Benny again, gets the handoff, big hole off the right side. Snell out of bounds inside the three tight ends. A lot of bodies in the box. Out of that Wildcat. Snell off the left side, down to the goal line. They'll spot him. Not going to happen on that play as.